I'm going to go over a quick and easy way to manage and deploy local administrator permissions on Windows servers and Windows workstations connected to an Active Directory domain. To start, if we go to the Active Directory users and computers snap in, we can create some security groups, uh, which we all will deploy that have the users that we want to be administrators. So the way I have my Active Directory set up, I have a um, an organizational unit for the uh, company name and then I've just got organizational units for groups, servers, users and workstations. So within groups I will just create a new organizational unit called um, server administration. And I'll also create one called workstation administration. So within the server administration, I will create a new group and we will call this um, security group um, server admin all servers. And then I will create a secondary one uh, to just give it to a specific server, which I will call SG server admin deployment, which is the name of the server. So I will add a user into this group. I will just give it a description um, gives local admin to all servers. And then we will give this one gives local admin to server called deployments. And then within the workstations, I will just create another group called SG workstations or all workstations gives local admin to all all workstations, and I will just add me in there. So now I've got three security groups. I've got one security group, which we will deploy to all servers, which will give everyone in the security group administrator rights on that server. In this security group, we will just deploy this to one specific server called deployment. If you've got more servers, um, you can just create as many of these as you want and then just give it a unique name with the server name and then deploy it to that individual server, which I'll go through in a minute. And then I've got the workstations group, which we will deploy to all workstations. Now we've created some security groups, we can go back to the server manager and go to group policy. Within group policy, we can expand group policy objects and create a new object. We will call this um, local admin permissions and then OK. Within the local admin permissions, we can go to computer preferences, control panel settings, and then local users and groups. Now this is where we're going to uh, add the security groups essentially. So we'll go to new local group and then we want update. And then within here, we want to select uh, administrators built in. And then we can add the security group that we created before. So for the first one, just type SG and then do server admin server admin all servers and then okay now what we want to do is use item level targeting by going to common tick item level targeting and then target a specific OU so if we go to new item then organizational unit then we can select the three dots and then we can select the servers OU this is where we will store all of the servers in, our, in my domain. If you store them in a different OU, just select whatever OUs that you have your servers in, and then that will apply this group. So we can apply and then OK. And then what we'll do is just right click and rename it. Call this um, all 
gives local admin to all servers. Now we'll do new and we'll do the same thing for the workstation. So we'll do update, group name, administrators built in, add, select the three dots, SG, and then we'll select SG workstations, uh, admin all workstations. Okay. And then we'll do item level targeted again, and then do the organizational unit for the workstations, which is just called workstations. And then apply. And then I can rename this to gives local admin to all workstations. And then for this example, I'm going to create a third one, which just deploys uh, to a specific server, which is the deployment server I've got. So we go and do same again to group name administrators. Add select SG and then we will select deployment and then item level targeting but this time instead of applying it to a full organizational unit we're going to do a computer name select the three dots and then type in the server we want to deploy this uh, policy to so this will only apply it to uh, machines with the name deployment and then OK apply and then I'll just rename it to gives local admin to server deployment and then we can close group policy now so we can go to settings and then see all of the settings we've selected Now what we need to do is drag this up to the domain and then link the GPO. Now that's linked, you can right click and enforce. Then if we go to our server, which is called deployment, we can open a command prompt, uh, go to the local user accounts. And then in groups, we can see the administrators group and it, at present it only has the domain admins so if I just uh, close that and then run a group policy update this will pull down the latest policy and then add those two groups we've created to the administrators group so that should have done it and it has so now we've got the SG servers admin all servers and the SG servers admin deployment so now anyone that's within those two groups within Active Directory. So anyone within all servers will uh, be able to administrate that server. And then anyone within this deployment will be able to administrate, administer that server as well because we've de uh, deployed this specific security group to that server. Now, if we go to a Windows 10 machine and do the same thing again, go to advanced groups administrators we can see that we've only got domain admins and then if I run GP update again slash force when that runs that should pull down the workstations admin uh, security group that we've created and none of us which it has so now we've got the domain admins plus SG workstations admin all workstations so that has deployed this security group to all of the workstations within this workstations organizational unit uh, into the administrators the reason you'd probably want to do it this way is uh, if you didn't deploy this group and you want to be able to administer this uh, a workstation you would have to give them domain admin which would give them basically full rights across the entire Active Directory domain, uh, which is not really ideal for someone beyond essentially the help desk to log in and uh, do administrative work on a PC. So that's a really easy and quick way to deploy um, local admin to servers and PCs. Now, 
to add people, say if you've got a new starter and you want to give someone access to the server, you can just add them to this group and within a few minutes they'll be able to log in to all the servers. Or <clears throat> you can just add them to specific servers. Now if you have got more servers, you just replicate this deployment group and then call it with whatever server name you want at the end. And then within group policy, when you go to the uh, edit this local uh, admin policy and then go to control panel, local users and groups, all you need to do is just keep adding um, new groups in here for the specific server. So you just add a new group and then go to common. Um, I'll show you on this one. And then go to common item level targeting and then just keep and then just add a new uh, machine name in here for whatever one you want to target and then with the next group policy update it will uh, add that group to the local administrators group uh, and that is the basics really of how uh, you do it via group policy it's fairly easy and extremely quick and that's all there is to it